Have you ever been on a vacation and seen a bunch of wind turbines and thought, gosh, those would actually run more efficiently if they used whale fins for the propellers? Sometimes it takes some deep scientific thinking to go that far, and that's exactly what Deer Lake Middle School student Grant Womble did. He explains. So it started when I was in California for the Khan Academy summer camp in Palo Alto, and we were driving through like the foothills on the way to um, Yosemite National Park, and we saw all these wind turbines on all the hills and stuff, and they didn't seem to be spinning very quickly, so I was wondering how I could make them spin faster to gain more energy. But then later in the trip, we went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, because my brother loves water animals and stuff. So we went there and we saw this presentation on biomimicry, which is like using nature solutions to help solve your problems, like using shark skin to, on the bottom of the boat to prevent barnacles and stuff. So um, it was about how whale fins make more efficient propellers because they have turbicles on the side of it and that helps direct the airflow and that makes it more efficient and that's how they can jump out of the water even though they're really heavy. So I combined those two ideas and came up with this idea to use different animal designs to help make a wind turbine more efficient. And Grant science teacher, Marta LeBlair, behind the scenes, says Grant always digs a little bit deeper and asks why. He does seek these kinds of things out. He really is passionate about science. He asks questions and he tries to find out why. He wants to know why. Um, he will seek out opportunities that most kids will not. And Deer Lake Principal Shane Seifert knows he has a unique student on his hands. Grant excels in all the subjects here at Deer Lake Middle School. He's an excellent student. He's going to be one of those people that uh, I'm going to be able to say I knew him when he was in middle school. Well, I've always been interested in innovation and like new ideas. So putting biomimicry onto wind turbines is a relatively new idea, so I thought it would be a cool idea for it. Grant is very focused on his learning. He's very interested in answering his questions, his own questions. He has questions and he'll seek out answers to them, which I think is unique for a middle schooler. And so the pool of thousands and thousands of young scientists, just like Grant, gets narrowed down by a panel of experts who deem their projects awesome. And from 6,000 to 300, and now the figure gets even lower. And does Grant get accepted into this group? They are down to the 30 finalists, and I was one of those. So and we get to go to Washington, D.C. September 27th through October 2nd. And we're going to have like this competition, I think. Um, and like the winner gets $25,000 for college. And we're going to go get meet the president and hopefully the Congress people and stuff. I think he's an exception to the rule um, as far as we go. Um, he, like I said, usually students will excel in maybe music or excel in science or excel in maybe language arts, but honestly, Grant excels in all subjects. Talkback whale, you can see in this picture how it has all the little bumps on the front of its fin, and that's what helps it get the momentum to jump out of the water. I teach science because I love science. And when a student comes along that gets excited about it, you really love that. You really want them to pursue avenues that not a lot of students pursue, especially in your field. So that's very exciting. And so Grant Womble, the scientist from Deer Lake Middle School, heads on a business trip to Washington, D.C. And we here at the Leon County Schools hope he comes back $25,000 richer. Good luck, Grant.